Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome back to the Token 5, my top 5 list for a particular subject matter. And this Token 5 is in conjunction with Happy Star Wars Day, where I'm talking about Star Wars related content very last minute. So, <clears throat> earlier today I gave you, you know, my 5 positive things that have come out of you know the sequel trilogy that's in theaters thus far I'm going to go into the expanded universe and talk about my five favorite Star Wars characters from the expanded universe spoiler warning I will be giving away important plot details so if you have not read these novels and you intend to read the novels Stop this video right now. You have been warned. For about 15 years, pretty much. So my memory on these on this subject is a little fuzzy, you know. So if I went back to reread some of these Star Wars novels, my five, my top my token five would be probably different. That's number one. Number two, I am not counting any Jedi or Sith because they will dominate the list. So I'm making a separate list for that. So with that all said and done, let's go into number five, Gavin Darklighter. If you've watched the original Star Wars movie, you know that Luke had a friend named Biggs Darklighter and who tragically died. In the Expanded Universe, we found out that Biggs had a younger cousin named Gavin, whom forever is in his cousin's shadow, since he is close friends with Luke Skywalker and he has been memorialized. You know, Gavin is actually part of the second rendition of the Rogue Squadron, which he is underneath the tutelage of Wedge Atlantis. You all know Wedge because he was in the first Star Wars movie and came back in Empire Strikes Back. Wedge becomes the new leader of the Rogue Squadron and basically Gavin is proved himself to be a valuable asset and a fairly interesting character. You first see him in the X-Wing series and then you finally see him in the Uzan Vong series. So definitely a great character. Number four, Kui. Now, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but basically her full name is spelled Q-W-I, first name, and the last name is X-U-X, all right? So she's part of the Jedi Academy series. The Jedi Academy series is where Luke is looking for other Force-sensitive people to basically rebuild the Jedi Order. There's a side plot as well where Han is actually basically going up against you know remnants of the Empire and one of the people that basically Han encounters when he gets kidnapped is Kui. Kui is an alien who was basically taken from her home as a child and scored a high on an aptitude test and she got brainwashed and is also very naive into creating you know a new devastating weapon for the Empire called the Sun Crusher. Han realizes Kui's naivete as well as realizes that she's been brainwashed and convinces her to abandon the Empire and join the New Republic. Number three, Va Ranuga. I definitely butchered that name because he's a Uzan Vong member and I'll put his spelling down below. But this particular character is part of the Uzan Vong War, you know, and he actually aligns himself with Anakin Solo, the youngest son of Han and Leia, and he is trying to help Anakin escape while get retribution against the other Uzan Vong. Vaua was actually a respected and feared warrior, but he fell in love with the wrong chick and basically broke a code and he became known as the Shane Ones and could never regain his glory. 
So in Retribution, he actually helps Anakin basically give out important details, thus giving the New Republic their first victory against the Uzang Wang. Sadly, Vauva had, or oh, Vauva, sorry, had to sacrifice himself in order to save Anakin. Number two, Admiral Dahlia, the first female in the Empire to receive the rank as Admiral. Dahlia was not only Grandma Tarkin's lover, but she was his prize student. So much so that basically she knew his tactics to a T and basically utilized those tactics, which was her ultimate downfall because Admiral Arbok recognized all of Dahlia's tactics because he was very familiar with Grandma Tarkin that he was actually able to defeat her easily. Number one, Dauma. Uh, his name is spelled D-R-O-M-A. Probably pronounce that one. Daruma is a Ren, R-Y-N, an alien race that is known to be humanoidish, but the only thing is they have a long tail, you know, talons for hands and a beak and everything, and facial hair. Doruma actually joins Han Solo very soon after the death of Chewbacca, and Han is still struggling to get by in life because Chewbacca is dead and he's still trying to reconcile with his loss. Dorma is actually the person that he kind of leans on inadvertently and becomes a temporary co-pilot of his during the Uzan Vong War. Dorma also has an alternative motive because his people are still basically, you know, used as slaves and basically against the Galactic Empire who have their own territory and he has a freedom fighter that is trying to get all of his other people out of the Gala the Empire's territory which there's some political wrangling going on. During the Uzan Vong War he is actually a capable combatant as well as pilot and towards the end of the war he disappears to actually continuing to lead a ground resistance against the Empire to free his own people. So those are my five favorite expanded universe Star Wars characters that you probably have never heard of or will have not seen on the screen. I did not include any uh, anyone from the Han Solo Adventures or the Adventures of Lando Calrissian due to the fact that they might end up being in the Solo movie. With that out of the way, you know, what do you all think? Are you Have you read the expanded universe and are you a fan? If so, who are your favorite characters? Let me know in the comments below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by, and I'll catch all of you later.